really dark. Why am I so dark? Hi. How's it going? Okay. Whoa, why is it so dark? Hang on, maybe it's the light. How about this? Ta-da! <laughs> That's better. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to do a, a quick tutorial on the palette number two. I'm getting ready super quick. And this is gorgeous palette, you guys. Um, the combination is on limited you can do whatever you want because they predetermine all the colors would go together okay so um i don't even know this one has been used for like quite a few years i think so um so as you can see there is a little bit of product gone but it still has plenty of life left so i'm wearing a little darker colors i'm thinking um, i would do a base so what do you want to do for a base you can start um, if you want to do two colors okay so you, obviously you can just use any of these colors as just a one color all over your lid but you can actually um do some awesome smoky eyes super easy okay so let's say this owner honorable color right here i'm going to use this as a base and what i'm going to do i'm just going to put it all over my lid super easy okay Honorable. Okay, and that's a matte color. I do have a little shimmer on my brush, I think, left over. Whoops. Um, so you just go ahead and put it all over your lid. So what do you want to do after that? You're going to pick one of the darker colors that you're going to put on the corner of your eye. I like this uh, Perplex. This is like super pretty shimmery color. What I'm going to do, I'm going to... Use my brush and I'm going to grab a little product, I'm going to tap the excess off and I'm going to go right in the crease right here and I'm going to put a little bit of that product right there. So smoky eye is not as scary as you think, it just takes a little bit of maybe practice or you know that kind of stuff. So um, you see this? Okay, I'm putting it right in the corner right here. Not as scary as it looks, I promise. So, what do you want to do that? You want to blend after that. Clean your brush a little bit. Um, you want to blend right after that, okay? So, since you have a lighter color in the corner of your eye or all over your eyelid, you want to blend in that darker color. And some people do it differently. You can blend by like just tapping slightly, you know, if you don't want to, your color spread too much and just have a little bit like a mo like a very definite smoky eye or if you prefer just a little lighter just go all over the lid it really depends how you like it okay so if you don't like if you go a little too dark just tap with your finger and get a little excess off okay so if it seems like it's dark do that if it seems like it's light add a little more product okay you want to tap your brush and then you want to tap it off. Make sure you always tap off the excess because you don't want that extra because this is a pressed powder um, um, shadow. So you don't want to swipe it all over. Okay. The next step we have, we have some pretty going on up here. But what I like to do is I like to use a highlighter, which is right here in the corner of your eye. What is the highlighter? These two colors, Romantic and Blissful, right here. It's shimmery, it's super light color, perfect for a highlighter, okay? <clears throat> Which one should I do? Me, 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 me. I will do this romantic right here. And I like using sponge brush for that. I put a little bit in the corner. And what it does, it almost brings attention to your eye, but not, it doesn't do extreme things, I promise. It makes it pretty okay you can just put it a tiny bit just over your corner you can go a little further than that it's up to you however you want to do but it's it does a little can go like a little bit underneath if you want okay so however you want oh wow there's some music coming in okay you see that so it's super easy, whichever, if you're struggling picking out the colors, go with the nude colors first 
and then pick those out. And pick those out. And the darker colors you always can put in the corner of their eye and then blend. Hi. <laughs> and the super dark colors you can always use as a light eyeliner. Okay? So that's about all. Um, this is a palette too. So at least if you have any questions, let me know. But other than that, just always uh, you can combine any color with any color, first of all. Go lighter in the inner corner of your eye, darker in the outer corner of your eye. You can put any individual ones all over your eyelid. The combinations are pretty much, you can wear this every single week for every day for a month and not ever have the same eyelid with the same palette. <laughs> There's some giggles going on. Anyway, so you guys have an awesome Saturday and we'll see you later.